Hi, it's done for the math. E easy solution. I'm discuss uh, basically go over derivative of inverse hyperbolic trigonometry, and in this video, look at the derivative of hyper inverse hyperbolic uh, sine of x right here, and basically prove that it it will equal to one divided by uh, square root one plus x squared. And to do this, well, the proof is yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, first of all, with inverse functions, uh, let's just let y equals to inverse hyperbolic sine of x right here. Then basically what this means is with inverse functions, the exact same thing as writing x is equal to, um, this is gonna be a hyperbolic sine of y right here. Now we're gonna be solving for y. So that's basically all inverse functions. You re replace x and y and I gotta solve for y. So now we could use actually implicit differentiation in this. So if we take a derivative on both sides, go dx over dx, that's obviously going to be equal to 1, so equal to derivative of hyperbolic sine of y, but now we're, we're doing this in terms of um, in terms of x, so on the left side we're going to have 1, and this would equal to, is derivative of uh, hyperbolic sine of uh, y or x is getting to be equal to just uh, hyperbolic cosine, but in this case it were terms of y there. And then I'll be using chain rule, because derivative of this one in terms of dx, that's just the derivative of uh, dy over dx. Or we could just write it as hyperbolic cosine of y times y prime. This is y prime is just the same thing here. So uh, solving for y prime, or the derivative, y prime is equal to 1 divided by cos hyperbolic cosine of y. But now this is in terms of, of itself, so you could just plug in this but that's not really a good proof I and mean, not really a good derivative. So we'll, we'll write this in terms of x and the way to do that is if you recall my earlier video I had a proof of the hypo hyperbola identity basically hyperbolic cosine of y squared or x minus hyperbolic uh, actually not cosine M, yeah, minus the hyperbolic cinch or hyperbolic sine of y right here equals 1. So we use this property you see the proof of this in the video link below as well as all related videos to this uh, video right here. So now we could use this solve for uh, hyperbolic cosine of y, move this to the right side, so we'll basically get um, hyperbolic yeah, cosine, this one squared, and this is going to be one, one plus, move this over to the right side, one plus hyperbolic uh, sine y, and this is squared. Yeah, and now we could just basically uh, square root both sides, so we'll get hyperbolic cosine uh, y is equal to plus or minus, there's also plus or minus in the square root, and now 1 plus hyperbolic sine is a squared y right here, but now since we have this plus or minus, but with cosine, if you recall the definition of it, this just equals to e to the y plus e to the negative y over 2, and this is always going to be greater than uh, 0 right here. You, can, you can't make this a less than 0, so if we can't make it less than 0, this negative doesn't make sense, so we only use the plus. Yeah, and basically we ignore the minus, so basically uh, cosine y equals that, so we just write it as, yeah, as uh, hyperbolic cosine y equals square root 1 plus hyperbolic sine y squared, and now we can just throw that inside of here. So we can write it as now y prime is equal to 1 over cosine y, and that equals to this, and that will equal to 1 divided by square root 1 plus this right here. But we also know that this is just x squared, because if we recall just from uh, the inverse function what it means, x is, e is going to equal to hyperbolic sine of y, so then this is just basically x squared. And basically, we just proved the derivative. So y prime is equal to 1 divided by square root 1 plus x squared. And there is our proof. And this equals to, obviously, uh, d over dx of uh, hyperbolic sin, inverse hyperbolic sine of x right here. So we found our, our derivative in here. And it's pretty straightforward proof. Hopefully, uh, well, that's anyway, that's all for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this and uh, learned from this one. It's pretty straightforward uh, proof. Just then, if you want to see my earlier videos on hyperbolic functions, inverse, etc., they're all in the video links below. And thanks for watching. Remember, you can also download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. That's all for today. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.